Howdy, welcome to Texas a and and welcome to the Corps of Cadets. This training is about Corps of Cadets scholarships. My name is Peter Siegel and I'm the Associate Director for Corps Scholarships. Also in the Corps Scholarship Office is Ms. Tiffany Dennis, our Administrative Coordinator. Our office is located on the second floor of Ash 1 LLC, which is in the corner between dorms 5 and 7. Our office hours are Monday through Friday from 8 in the morning until 5 in the evening. Each year, the Corps of Cadets awards more than 2,700 scholarships, totaling more than $5.5 million in scholarship stipends. More than 95% of the Corps of Cadets is on a Corps scholarship. We have three basic types of scholarships that we manage within the Corps Scholarship Office. The highest level scholarship is a Corps 21, which pays $4,000 or more per semester. To maintain that scholarship, you have to keep a 3.0 cumulative GPA. The next level of scholarship is a General Rudder Scholarship, or $2,000 Corps Scholarship. To maintain this scholarship, you also have to maintain a 2.5 GPA. And the last level scholarship is a Sol Ross or other course scholarship that pays $1,200 or a little bit more per year. You have to maintain a 2.3 cumulative GPA for that scholarship. There's another level of scholarship called the Easterwood, which pays $5,000 per year, but that one is managed by the University Scholarship Office. It requires a 2.5 cumulative GPA. You can find all of your financial aid information at your financial aid portal in Howdy or myfinancialaid.tamu.edu. All scholarships are awarded by the Core Scholarship Committee. For incoming freshmen, you have to submit the university scholarship application at the time you apply to Texas A&M. This application looks at your academic record, your extracurricular activities, any awards or honors you've received, any leadership positions you've held, and also your community service. If you're a transfer student, we will use your transfer GPA and hours as well as your extracurricular activities that you submit on your application when you apply to Texas A&M. If you're a current student, there are two ways to apply for core scholarships. The first way is the Continuing Student Scholarship Application, which is open from October 15th to February 1st each school year. They'll look at your GPA and hours and also your extracurricular activities at Texas A&M, including leadership positions. You can also submit a core scholarship application if you're a current cadet. We will look at your GPA and hours and any explanation you provide on that application. This application is available at the Core Scholarship website on cadets.tamu.edu. To maintain your Core of Cadet Scholarship, you have to stay in the Core of Cadets. You have to enroll in at least 12 hours or more per semester at Texas A&M, unless you're blend team. You also have to pass 10 or more hours at Texas A&M each semester. Maintain the cumulative GPR requirements for the level of scholarship that you're on complete 30 hours by the start of your sophomore year, and complete 75 hours by the start of your senior year. We also require that you submit a thank you letter each semester to your donor or donors, allow your contact information and your grade reports to be sent to your donor, participate in any core or donor-sponsored scholarship events, complete the core scholarship agreement, acknowledging all the requirements to keep your core scholarship. Also remember that there is no military obligation for Corps of Cadet scholarships. These are university scholarships available to any cadet in the Corps. We begin the thank you letter process for all cadets about the third week of class. Your donor information will be available in Corps apps or CMS and also provided to your Scholastics chain. Instructions and examples of how to write a thank you letter are available on the Corps scholarship website on cadets. This activity is to complete it as an outfit and turn in as an outfit. If you had a bad semester in the Corps of Cadets and your grades or hours weren't what, you, weren't what you wanted them to be, you'll be put on Corps Scholarship Probation for one semester. If you don't maintain the cumulative GPR required for your scholarship or pass 10 or more hours, you'll be given one semester to fix the problem from the previous semester. During that semester, you will continue to receive your Corps Scholarship. If you don't meet the terms of your, of your probation, then you risk losing your scholarship or having it downgraded to a lower level scholarship. If you don't agree with the decision of the committee, you can submit a, an appeal to the Deputy Commandant to have your core scholarship reinstated. If you would like to receive additional core scholarships because of merit, either grades, activities, leadership, there are two ways to do so. You can complete the University Scholarship application, open October 15th to February 1st each school year, or submit a core scholarship application at the core scholarship website on cadets.tamu.edu. If you find yourself in a financial need situation, you can also submit a core scholarship application just for financial need. We do ask that you have a FAFSA on file with the university so we can evaluate your level of need. If you're an out-of-state student, 
you can receive a competitive scholarship waiver if you receive $4,000 or more in competitive scholarships awarded by the university. This can be a single scholarship or a combination of scholarships that stack on top of each other. Unfortunately, if you lose that scholarship, you might lose the waiver. If you're an out-of-state student in the Corps of Cadets, we have a new scholarship just for you called the Major General Raymond Murray Class of 35 Corps Scholarship. This is only offered to non-resident students and it offsets the non-resident tuition charged by Texas A&M. You can't have any other waivers or exemptions on your file and you must maintain a Corps Scholarship to continue eligibility to receive this scholarship. Training about the General Murray Scholarship is available on the Corps Scholarship's website if you're on an ROTC scholarship, you're also eligible to receive the Patriot Scholarship. This is a supplement that guarantees that required housing and meal expenses are covered by a combination of federal, state, and university aid. Your ROTC scholarship must cover tuition and fees, and then the Patriot Scholarship will cover your housing and meals. You're automatically reviewed for the Patriot Scholarship once the ROTC office notifies us that your scholarship has been signed. Training on the Patriot Scholarship is available at the, at the Core Scholarship website on cadets. Another scholarship you might be interested in is the Texas Armed Services Scholarship Program, or TASP. You must be nominated by the governor, lieutenant governor, senator, or representative. You can receive up to $15,000 per year in a forgivable loan for your education. ROTC students are encouraged and eligible to apply for this scholarship. For more information, you can contact the University TASP coordinator at TASP at tamu.edu. The TASP has certain requirements you must meet in order for the loan to be forgiven. You have to enroll in the ROTC for four years and after graduation either commission into the military or make a four-year commitment to the Texas Army National Guard, Air National Guard, State Guard, Coast Guard, or United States Merchant Marine. We have some important dates you should remember each semester. We begin our thank you letter process approximately in the third week of classes. The 20th class day is also an important date. If you resign from the Corps of Cadets before the 20th class day, you will lose your Corps Scholarship and we will award it to another eligible cadet. After the 20th class day, you can keep your scholarship for the remainder of the semester, but you'll lose it for future terms. And annually, from October 15th to February 1st, the University Scholarship application is open for continuing students for new scholarships for the following school year. To finish your core scholarship training, you must complete the core scholarship agreement, which is located at the link on the screen. You can type that into your web browser or use a smartphone to capture the QR code and fill out the form. Every cadet must have a core scholarship agreement on file. That's all we have for core scholarship training. If you have any questions, please feel free to come see us in the core scholarship office, second floor of Ash 1 LLC. Thanks and gig'em.